Yes, yes, people, it's official. Arsenal Football Club have signed Fabio Vieira, centre midfielder from Porto for £34.2 million with a potential £4 million add-on. It's all been confirmed by Porto. We're just waiting for Arsenal to come out and put it on the website with the pictures and confirm everything. But it's all done. All major outlets have reported it yesterday. Fabrizio Romano, Sky Sports, BBC, everybody's been reporting it. Loads of YouTubers have already been on YouTube discussing Fabio Vieira, whether it'll be a good fit for Arsenal or not. And to be fair, there's still a lot to learn about him. There's still a lot to know about him because personally, I don't know much about him. I haven't really watched the Portuguese league much. I can't really lie or tell you man's an expert because I'm not. But I'm not going to lie with this deal. I'm a little bit underwhelmed because I wanted experience. I wanted Premier League experience. I've seen Basuma going to Tottenham for a cheaper fee. And to be fair, at 25, with bags of Premier League experience, consistent level of performances, I think that's a player that we do need. I agree, this player is a little bit more attackive um, by the looks of things. But we're going to have to wait and see. By the signs of what it, what's happening and what's panning out, it looks like Tillemans might be coming to the club. Um, reports are getting talks that advanced talks are in stages with Tillemans. And if he comes in, I'll feel a little bit better. But people, the terms of the deal for Fabio Vieira is a five-year deal, which takes him to 2027, people. And that's on about 110k a week deal, English pounds. And to be fair, he's not breaking the bank. Um, he's coming with a 16 assist goal, 16 assists, seven goals last season. He's coming with that record. Um, it was his best season last season, under 21s player of the tournament as well in the Euros. So he's coming with a little bit of substance. But like I said, the Premier League's a total different ball game. In order to come to this league and and prove yourself and and stand out, you gotta have to be special. You gotta have to be special people. He's got a special name, but can he live up to that name, people? Can he live up to that name? Hopefully he can. But yeah, so from what I've seen, um, he looks like he's a diverse midfielder, could play as a centre mid, play as a centre attacking midfielder. You know, he seems like he's got a decent engine behind him, tracking, running. But you can't really make out it 110% of YouTube clips people, you know what I mean? You're just seeing bursts of little moments, couple seconds here, couple seconds there, so you can't really get an idea. If anybody knows about him, if anybody knows in depth, make sure you put it down in the comments, people because um, it'd be good for me to know and anybody else that's watching the video. But yeah, Fabio Vieira is an Arsenal player. Um, this one, people, has come out of nowhere. It's absolutely come out of nowhere because we've been report linked to everybody, Tielemans, Jesus, so many players. But this one, it just more or less just appeared in a matter of a day and just all kind of kind of got done. So Arsenal are moving a little bit more diligent. Arsenal are moving a little bit more quiet in the market. Is that a good thing? Suppose it is. So people don't try to steal our targets. But what we want to know, are these our real targets or are we missing out on players? And these are second choice players because I'd like to know that. Um, we need the squad depth. So him coming in, being a left-sided player, left-footed, does that mean Granite Shack is going to go and move out, move on? Because if Tillerman comes in as well, I can't really see room for Granite Shaka in the team. And to be fair, if he moves Shaka out this year, I'll give him his props because he needs to go. Shaka needs to go. It's time to move on. And we need something fresh because in the middle of our pitch, when we're watching the game, people, there's, 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 there's no creativity there. There doesn't look like there's, there's no real... Um, dominance in the middle or we ain't got the characters to grab the game by the scruff of the neck but yeah so that's Fabio Vieira people welcome to you obviously everyone get behind him support him he's an Arsenal player he's new and he ain't done nothing wrong yet you know what I mean people so get behind him hopefully he can be that new Santi Cazorla type player because I have read a few bits about him and they are comparing him to Santi Cazorla in the sense of what we need in midfield and if that is the case, I'll be buzzing because 
Kazala for me was a special, special player. And I don't think we've recovered from moving on from him in a sense. We've never had that player that has connected the dots so well like Kazala for me. I don't even think Ozil connected the dots that well like Kazala did people. So if he comes in and can be half the player Kazala was, that is a good start to be fair at 22 years of age, still got room for development. But now we want to see some some experience. There is talks of Gabriel Jesus coming to Arsenal Football Club. Advanced talks are taking place. You know, he's back from the international duty with Brazil now, people. So it looks like it could potentially get done fast. Get these players in before pre-season and we can potentially have a good start to the season. All be gelled, all the players get to know each other and, and get that connectivity within the group, people. But £25 million Arsenal wanted to pay for Jesus. Yeah, and I'm hearing that City don't <laughs> laughed at that and they want £45 million. It looks like they probably met somewhere in the middle around the, around the 40 mil mark. I'm back in 40 mil, high 30s. They probably met around there and the deal will get completed. But one that we do want to be looking out for is the Yori Tielemans deal. Because if we do sign Tielemans, that is Premier League quality, Premier League proven quality, experience. And he is a player that can grab the game by the scruff of the neck and, and get you a goal out of nothing or bang a free kick in. To be fair, I'd be excited to see Tielemans play at Arsenal Football Club alongside with Thomas Partey and Odegaard as the 10 or even Smith Rowe as the 10. I think that would work. Um, I still feel like we do need cover for Partey. We need that defensive type player. And that's where Basuma, for me, comes back into it because I feel like he could have sat there and, and played that number six role very well. Whether this new guy comes in, Vieira, and he can do the same, I don't know. But very doubt it. He doesn't look physically strong. There's also reports saying that he's he's going to take a bit of time to develop physically, to, to, to cope with the Premier League. We need players that are going to come into the league now and make a difference. Come into the league and make a bit of a statement. Like Arsenal, I've not had a, as a sack. We've not had a signing since Alexis Sanchez, I would say, that's come in. Well, you could say Aubameyang. Alexis Sanchez, Aubameyang, that's come in and just hit the ground running, to be fair. Other than that, it takes a lot of people time to settle in at Arsenal Football Club for some reason. Whether that's down to the managers that are in place or whether that's down to the culture of England or whatever it may be, that needs to change. The speed of that process needs to come back fast, people. But yeah, that's it for today, people. I just wanted to bring that news to you. Fabio Vieira is officially an Arsenal player. And hopefully we can get the best out of him and wish him all the best people for the new upcoming season. Come on, Arsenal. Let's sign some more fucking players.